Hey guys, Panda Pirate here. Today I am going to show you, I guess it's an update video on the uh, transport controls in um, FL Studio and the uh, Complete Control Mark II, or I guess the lack of transport controls. So in the last video, I showed you this page, um, play, stop button, record, open piano roll, quantize, undo, open the mixer, open the playlist, and open the next empty pattern um, buttons. And I showed you the page with the time markers moving around in the playlist on a per bar basis, selecting marker regions, deselecting marker regions, and then navigating through marker regions. Um, and now I'm going to show you the next two pages that I have set up. So the save button, obviously, to save your project, you can select all. So if you are in the playlist, um, let's actually, dun, 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 dun. I'll just actually kind of go through all. I'm going to talk about them and then I'll show you. So select all in the playlist or in the piano roll, cut, copy, paste, um, delete, trigger the metronome um, so it's on or off. Um, and same with the uh, scrolls to reach time markers function. And on page three, we have open the channel rack. Uh, solo, this is for like the mixer. Zoom in or zoom out, this is for the playlist or the piano roll. Up or down, which is for the channel rack for selecting different instruments up and down. Um, just use the up and down key on the keyboard. Oops, where am I going? And then left and right. And this is for selecting mixer channels using the left and right on your, your keyboard. On your, yeah. So now that I showed you the buttons, and once again, these are just mapped the same way I mapped in the previous videos using notes on channel 16, yada, 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 setting up the MIDI settings for the song marker jumps on MIDI channel 16. So if you started out on this video, that should be enough to, to at least get you started. So um, now that I showed you that, I'm just going to jump to the buttons, the exit settings here, and show you what's going on. So dun, dun. I can select all, which is nice. Select. Um, I can move left and right in the playlist. Not jumping around the bars, but actually moving, like scrolling. I can also go up and down. Zoom in, zoom out. Open the channel rack, select instruments. Open up the mixer. And we can select these. We can solo as well. I don't want to hit it because it's going to arm my the track that I'm using to talk on. Just kind of a pain. Oops. Let's go back to the mixer. I messed that up. There we go. Yeah, it'll arm this uh, this track that I am talking on. And then also have the metronome control. So you can turn the metronome on and off and then the uh, scroll to reach the time markers. And that's about it. Um, some other things that I have mapped, obviously, like the, the mixer knobs. Um, I have those mixed uh, set up on each page to like map out to the volume controls. I'm not going to mess with this project because I actually have quite a bit of stuff going on. I don't want to mess it up. But um, yeah, it's kind of... Pretty much it. Well, actually, I guess I have the uh, the stereo separation mapped to the little touch strip, which is nice. When I have the mixer open, um, I can switch from mono to stereo, you know, without uh, messing around too much the, with the computer's keyboard. So I I feel like I I have pretty much everything that I need for the moment uh, mapped out to buttons. I'm sure. Uh, in the next few minutes, or, or you know, a few days, I'll figure out more to set up into buttons to make it a little bit more convenient to work with. So, 
Uh, if you did find this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.